In this tutorial, we will discuss the benefits of using a mat or multiple mats within your morph. You can download the project called Morph Mat, and you can work along with me or you can try this on your own after watching the tutorial. I'm going to start this lesson with the understanding that you either already know how to do a basic morph using Reflex or you've watched the tutorials on the basics. If there is a basic concept that you do not understand, I suggest that you go back and watch those tutorials. I'm going to show you the result from a one layer morph and a two layer morph so you can see the difference before we start. In this first result we have done a still to still morph without a mat. You can see that the background is dissolving and it may not be the desired effect. If we look at the next example, this is a two layer morph where each of the cars is matted and then composited back over the background. The result is much cleaner and you can focus on the morph itself better. Let's go ahead and see how easy that is to do. You can start by going to the folder called Two Layer Morph Project and to the composition called One Lambo. This is just a single JPEG file of the image that will be our two image. We can go to the pen tool or use the hotkey G in both Mac and Windows. Go ahead and draw a mask around the Lamborghini like I'm doing here. You can take a minute to tighten up the mat. Go ahead and leave this mask on Add. Now you can do the same for the Bentley and then meet me back here. We're going to take the Bentley that we made a mask for and make a new composition. This will be our pre-comp for the morph, so I will name it 3 Morph Pre-comp. The Bentley will be our from image, so I'm going to shorten this one to one frame and leave it at frame 1. Now I can add the Lamborghini to the pre-comp. I will shorten it to one frame and leave it at frame 30. I can take this pre-comp and drag it to make another composition which we will call 4 Morph 2 Layer. This is the comp where our now matted morph will take place. We can just copy the masks from the morph using one layer since we already learned how to create masks in the tutorial called Reflex Morph Still to Still in After Effects. If you want to practice, you can go ahead and create your own masks and then come back and watch the rest of this tutorial. Since we have the masks set up already, we can see that they are working, but there is nothing morphing because we still need to add Reflex Morph. Go ahead and do that now. We could copy that from the one layer morph as well, but let's do a little picture key review. This is all we need to do to finish the morph. Go to picture key and frame one, which is the first frame in this case. This is our from image or the Bentley. Activate the stopwatch to animate the keyframes and set this first frame to picture key on. Now go to frame two and turn picture key two off. And let's go to the end of the timeline at frame 30 where the Lamborghini is, or the 2 image. We will set another keyframe to on. Now if we do a RAM preview, you will see that the Bentley morphs to the Lamborghini and the background doesn't join in because we have a mat for each car. And oh, and no background. Let's go ahead and add a background so you can get the whole picture. That's better except there is a little bit of the Lamborghini peeking out the bottom. So I'm just going to scale the morph up a bit and reposition it. This is how we do a morph using multiple layers in Reflex Morph.